Today we're gonna to be making Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Today we are gonna be lasting up the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. They came out very nice. As you can see, it's all ready to get lasted up. We got the laces in. Normally I throw the blue laces in, but today I felt like throwing in um, some black donor laces. I'm not too sure what laces we're gonna go with, so comment down below what laces you think I should do. But for right now, you know, I'm not worried about getting these dirty because I'm not gonna be um, keeping these on the Travis Scotts. So this is what we're working with right here. Also, we got our last, of course, last right here as well as a lasting board. That's on my website if you need yourself some lasting board. All the nails as well, the lasting nails, as you could see, those are also up on my website if you need that. Also, we got the links down below to all these tools. So we got glue, we got lasting pliers. I'm gonna be using my hammer a little bit. Um, I might be using some other stuff later and I'll show you that later on. But for right now, this is what we're working with. So I got the contact cement, I got the hammer, as well as the bad boys right here. We're gonna be doing lots of pulling for this just cause the leather is super thick. I'm not too sure how this is gonna be, especially with lasting, cause this is probably the thickest leather I have dealt with so far. As you can see, it's, it's very thick. So I'm super interested though to see how it comes out, how it turns out, if it's nice or not, or like how it is to deal with. Cause with, you know, heavy leather, sometimes it does give you, you know, a little bit of problems cause of how strong and how tough it is. But we're just gonna work our way around that. So with further ado, we're gonna get right to lasting. So we're halfway through the process. As you can see, it's starting to look like a Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. We're kind of going through it right now. You know, for this um, shoe, it's kind of giving me some trouble just because of how thick the leather is, but I'm not too worried. We're just gonna power right through it. As you can see though, it's looking mighty fine so far. Um, the sole, you know, it's gonna go like right there. So we're gonna cover the bottom Nike sign on the inside, you know. It's looking nice as well, but I'm super happy with how they're turning out. Just wanted to give a little quick update. I also re-tighten the laces just to make sure the shape is all nice and flush. You know, the top right there is looking all good. It's just getting all pulled in from the tight laces, but once we undo that, then, you know, it'll just go back to normal. Not too worried about that though. So also, you know, we're just getting the toe box on nice and centered because we don't want no shoe that sits like that. We want a nice straight shoe. So, you know, if we look on the back, we got the center tab centered. We got the front toe box centered. You know, if I pull that down, you know, it's nice and even. So we are nice and golden. We're getting ready to uh, finish the toe, go from there. Um, I'm almost, almost out of glue. So I'll have to get more of that soon, but let's finish the process. So as you can see, we got a little bit of wrinkles on the bottom. I'm not too worried about that because that's gonna go away and um, it should be fine. But just, you know, to show you, like if you're, if you don't really want those, even though, so like that line right there is where the sole's gonna be. So everything above that is nice and flush. So I'm not worried about that, but say that you wanna get rid of like some of those creases. What you'll wanna do is you're gonna hold your shoe like this. So I'll face the camera down and just kind of keep it keep it where it's at so you could see that. So say that we want to take that one away. I'm going to get a straight nail, gonna pick it up, gonna put it in 
gonna put it in parallel like that, as you can see. I'm gonna push it in, and then with my thumb, gonna push upwards and hammer it. And what I just did was I put the nail in there and then I tilt and I like bent it up as you saw and then I hammered it down and what that did was it stretched the leather downwards. So if I keep on doing that, you know, it will um, it will like stretch the leather out where it's nice and flush so it doesn't have all those ripples and bumps in them. So if we wanna do it again, I'll look for like another one. So this one kind of already has a nail in it, but I'll do it on this side. So see that one right there? We kind of got like a ripple around it. I'm not too worried about this one, but I'll do it again just, you know, to, just to show you how to do it so you could try it for yourself. So see, it's in there too far, so just use your thumb, press up very hard. So hopefully you got that. It's kind of hard to show, especially with like all the shadows and stuff, but you know, I'm just trying to show you the best way possible because this is some some tips that I learn, learned along the way that I was never um, told. I just found this out on my own and felt like sharing because I feel like I'm sure people do this, but they just don't really share it with others. So hey, might as well, might as well show you how it is. We now got ourselves a nice flush toe. It's looking very nice, very buttery um, down here. I'll throw some nails in here real quick. Also, if you need these nails, go check out my website. I got all these nails available there if you need yourself some nails, as well as this lasting board. And we're just gonna keep on nailing this stuff in. And there we go, and that should be it. I'm gonna wait for this to like settle here a little bit, kind of give it its shape. We're gonna glue it up, take all the nails out, we're gonna skive it down, but I'm just gonna wait a little bit and then I'll get right back to you. If you made it this far, remember to hit that like button as well as subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Turn on notifications so you don't miss all the videos and let's get back to it. So all the nails are out, starting to look more like a shoe every second. Super happy with how it's turning out so far. So the next step is to skive the bottom. We gotta make it nice and flat, nice and flush. So when we put the sole onto the bottom, we don't feel all this roughness on there. You know, we want it nice and flush all the way around. So I'm gonna be using my skive. And then after that, I'm gonna be using the box cutter just like that and just like that we want a nice even flush of leather so I'm gonna cut that kind of go from there and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after that Just like that is nice and flat on the bottom. It is looking very nice. We got that nice flush going on. I mean, look at that. That is, can't get better than that. It's pretty much all leveled on the bottom from here. What I'm gonna do is glue the bottom, let it seal up, dry it up a little bit, and then I'll tell you the next step.
So they are finally finished. Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. They came out very nice as you can see. All that they need are a sole on the bottom, but it's just like butter on the very bottom. You can see nice and flat. I'm super happy with how these came out. They are coming out very nice, very clean. As you can see, it's all flat on the bottom, so all that it needs now is a sole. Throw that bad boy right on, and they are all finished, but this is what it looks like from the side, from the front, from the inside, and then from the back. So these are looking very nice. Um, all that we use is white leather, black leather, brown leather. This brown leather is very thick, but I'm really liking how it um, how it felt, kind of the heaviness and the weightness of it. It kind of gives the shoe a little bit more like a different feel, and I really like that. And you can see, you know, it's just if it wants to focus in, we just got all the stitching going around that toe box. You got to get that bad boy right, and I think we did. The inside looks great. And you know, this is what it's uh, looking like so far. So we're just waiting on the soles. Soles are gonna take a while because of the holiday shipping, all that junk is gonna take a while to come in. I think I'm gonna go with uh, the light pink laces. I'm really feeling that lately. Not too sure if I, you know, maybe later on I'll feel a different color, but for right now, I'm really feeling the pink laces. I'm super, Super, I have my mind set on the pink laces, so I think I'm gonna go with that. But let me know if you'd rather see, you know, white, black, or brown laces. Here's another look at it, a little quick, you know, review. You know, brown leather, white leather, white leather. We got the black leather up here. Very thin collar up here where we stitched the top together, if that wants to zoom in. It's a little, um, little wrinkled right now, but that's because these two points are getting tied in really tight by the laces, but I wanna keep it like that because when we'll throw it in the oven, that's what will give it its shape. Once we take it out of the oven, we'll take out obviously the last, we'll take off the laces and it'll kind of breathe and then it'll give it its shape. So I'm not too worried about that right now, but you know, if you push that out, it see, if you just push that out, it goes back to normal. So not worried about that. But these are the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the shoes. If you enjoy the content, let me know down below if you want to see any other customs. We're about to finish these bad boys, so we need some ideas for the next custom. So drop it down, down in the comments. Also, check out the new merch. Link in the bio it really helps out the channel. If you go cop one, it'll get sent to you real fast. Thanks for checking out this video, and have a great day.